a quick tip. Make sure to check out the description box down below. Yay, I finally got 8 hours of sleep. In 3 days, but whatever. Hello guys, how are you? Did you sleep well last night? If yes, fantastic. If you didn't get that much sleep last night, or you don't get that much sleep every night, this video is for you. In this video, we'll explore practical steps you can take to improve your sleep quality and wake up feeling refreshed each morning. Why is getting enough sleep important? Number one, get sick less often. Quality sleep boosts the immune system, reducing the risk of illnesses. Number two, stay at a healthy weight. Good sleep supports a healthy metabolism, aiding weight management. Number three, lower your risk for serious health problems. Adequate sleep reduces the risk of conditions like diabetes and heart disease. Number four, reduce stress and improve mood. Sleep helps regulate emotions and stress levels, promoting a positive mood. Number five, think clearly and perform better. Quality sleep enhances cognitive function and performance in school and work. Number six, get along better with people. Sleep affects social interactions and communication skills. Number seven, make good decisions and avoid injuries. Adequate sleep is crucial for judgment and safety, reducing the risk of accidents like drowsy driving. Why can't I fall asleep? Stress or anxiety. Emotional factors can disrupt sleep patterns. Pain. Discomfort from various sources can interfere with falling and staying asleep. Health conditions. Conditions like heartburn or asthma can cause discomfort that disrupts sleep. Medications. Some medicines can have side effects that affect sleep quality. Caffeine. Stimulants like caffeine found in coffee, tea, and soda can interfere with sleep if consumed late in the day. Alcohol and drugs. These substances can disrupt sleep patterns and decrease sleep quality. Untreated sleep disorders. Conditions like sleep apnea or insomnia can significantly impact sleep quality if not addressed. How can I tell if I have a sleep disorder? Sleep disorders can lead to various issues, though occasional sleep troubles are normal. Those with sleep disorders often face consistent challenges. Common signs of sleep disorder include difficulty falling or staying asleep, persistent tiredness despite adequate sleep, Daytime sleepiness, hindering daily tasks like driving or concentrating. Frequent loud snoring. Breathing pauses or gasping during sleep. Tingling or crawling sensations in limbs at night, relieved by movement. Difficulty moving upon waking up. What are some tips to improve your sleep quality? Number one, boost daytime light exposure. Spending time in sunlight or bright light during the day helps regulate your body clock. A recent small study found that more daytime light can improve both the quality and length of sleep. If you can't get natural light, try using bright artificial lights. Another study showed that people exposed to lots of morning light fell asleep faster at night, especially in winter, and had better sleep quality. Number 2. Simplify your bedroom environment. Our bedroom setup goes beyond just a comfy bed. Optimize your bedroom environment by minimizing external noise, light, and artificial lights. Keep your bedroom at a comfortable temperature, ideally around 65 Fahrenheit or 18.3 Celsius, and work on improving air quality. Number three, don't eat late in the evening. Avoid eating late at night to preserve sleep quality. Having dinner a few hours before bedtime, or if you must snack later, up for a small portion. Food choices matter too. High carb options can disrupt sleep more than low carb ones. Number four, no drinks before bed. Avoid consuming liquids before bed to minimize disruptions to sleep. 
Excessive urination during the night, known as nocturia, can impact both sleep quality and daytime energy levels. While hydration is crucial, reducing fluid intake in the evening can help prevent nocturia symptoms. Aim to stop drinking fluids one to two hours before bedtime. Additionally, empty your bladder before going to bed to decrease the likelihood of nighttime awakenings. Number 5. No alcohol before bed. Skip alcohol before bed to keep your sleep and hormones balanced. Alcohol can worsen sleep apnea and snoring and disrupt sleep patterns. It also messes with melatonin, your sleep regulating hormone. Avoid drinking close to bedtime most nights. Number 6. Consider taking a melatonin supplement. Melatonin is a natural hormone that signals your brain it's time to wind down. While the FDA doesn't regulate melatonin like a drug, studies suggest doses of 0.1 to 10 mg before bedtime. Start with a low dose and consult a healthcare professional before use, especially for your children, as long-term effects are not well understood. Number 7. Have a consistent sleep schedule. Establishing a consistent sleep schedule is key to optimizing your body's natural circadian rhythm. Research shows that irregular sleep patterns can disrupt sleep quality over time. By committing to consistent sleep and wake times, you're supporting long-term sleep health. So set your alarm and strive for a regular sleep routine. Your body will thank you for it. Number 8. Opt for strategic daytime naps rather than long or irregular ones. While power naps can be beneficial, excessive daytime sleeping can disrupt your eternal clock, making it challenging to fall asleep at night. However, the impact of napping varies among individuals. For some, it may not compromise nighttime sleep quality, especially athletes or those engaged in strenuous physical activity. If you find daytime snaps affecting your nighttime rest, consider shortening or limiting them to improve overall sleep quality. we got to the end of the video. Thank you for watching! If you resonated with any of the signs mentioned, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional. Remember, quality sleep is essential for overall well-being. Take care and here's to better sleep and healthier days ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you watch the video on the end screen. Until the next video, goodbye!